This week, we're taking a full tour of Lake Tawakoni State Park. Welcome to Touring and Trails. Lake Tawakoni State Park has nice, spacious sites for a state park. Sometimes they pack in like sardines, but this isn't bad. Look, got a nice view of the woods. Uh, next site over is right there, so not too bad. Beautiful area, and you can almost see the lake in the distance in the background. But this is site number seven. Let's go check out some more. Not much better than camping in November. Nice, cool air. Get the campfire going. S'mores, maybe. maybe. Hot chocolate. Now we had popcorn. And popcorn. So yeah, bring an air popper with you. It's yeah. a great way to cook popcorn. It was... tastes a lot better than the Jiffy Pop things. Um, oh, yes, it was great. But look at this. I mean, the leaves are turning. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Get your family out and have a good time. Enjoy nature. Enjoy life because this is what it's all about. We're going to take a look at couple other little campsites that maybe you should consider if you're coming out to Lake Tawakoni State Park. So here is Site 17. It's right on the water. Oh yeah, right on the water. If it wasn't muddy, you could walk down to the water. Yeah, 11 months out of 12 in Texas, it's not going to be raining. When it does, it's pretty muddy, but the rest of the year, this is perfect. You can go right out there, just go fishing. The other thing, Texas State Park, if you're staying in the state park, you do not have to have a fishing license. That's a big deal. So, and I, most of them will even let you borrow fishing poles, believe it or not. So, perfect site for fishing if you're, if you're into fishing. And most of us are. They have several trails throughout the state park. Of course we had to find a trail. Because we're touring in trails. Nice wooded trails. Beautiful area. Not real rugged terrain too bad. Um, short. Some of them are half a mile. Some of them go up to about three miles. So nothing crazy. You can get out and have a little fun. Get your hike. And you're guaranteed to see some wildlife look at this they got a nice looking day use area a little bay you can swim off of lots of picnic tables beautiful scenery it looks like they got plenty of water in the lake right now good sized lake let's go check out the boat ramp it's a great place to launch your boat look at this look at that beautiful pier they got back there to get in and out of your boat so this is this is a good spot to go to. Big lake, plenty of water. Get out and enjoy the day. Hey! <laughs> lake Tawakoni on a rainy weekend. Cold. Rainy. It's not cold yet, but it will be. Cold? I don't know. It's, it's not that cold. It's long sleeve weather. Yeah. Trying out the new Coleman. Got the new tent in the back. Got the fire going, and we got the, the bushwhacker, good old number seven in the background. So, Absolutely. so and we're on number seven. And we're on site number seven. Campsite seven. Yes. So, all right. Fixing to shut it down. Going to be the another weekend with the bushwhacker. Lake Tawakoni State Park. Is it a win? A win. Thumbs up. It was Thanksgiving weekend, so it was great. Yes, yes. They got their first night in the Coleman, still standing, so call that a win. Well, that's going to do it for this week's adventure. Thanks for coming along. Give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do it. Yes, Don't cost subscribe. a dime. 100% free. And we will see you down the road. road.